Hey guys, is the market crashing? Are we in the middle of a crash? Well, you know what? Nasdaq came down 13% from the highs. S&P came down 7% from the highs. This is not a crash, not yet. But we need to get ready. We need to understand where the market is going. We need to know how to behave if the market will continue to come down. So let's discuss this as if we are just starting to crash down. If you've been around for the last 22 years trading the markets like I am, you've probably seen several crashes in the past. You probably know what to do, but you know what? A good reminder is always important. If you haven't been around, I think this video is extremely important because we're going to discuss what you should or you should not do during these times. So let's first take a look at the past and understand what happened during the, I mean, several years before. Let's start at the year 2000. The S&P came down then by 50% and the Nasdaq crashed by 82%. And what really stopped the market was the fact that the Fed started printing money and they kept printing money throughout the crash of 2008. And even in the last few years, they're still printing money. I mean, just in the last two years, they printed more than $13 trillion. And now everybody's surprised how come inflation is getting out of hand. Well, you know what? COVID-19 is also not over yet. So we are in the middle of a very challenging period and we need to take a look at the future. So let's take a look at the stocks. Let's take a look at different companies and quarterly reports which are being published right as we speak. Well, the results are great. However, the problem is PE ratios, price to earning ratios are extremely high, which means stocks are priced at an extreme price and normally if you look back at the history when th something like this happened in the past yes we have seen some crashes from from so from this perspective market is extremely high and prices are way too high now if you take a look at the s p 500 in the past uh, 22 years starting from year uh, 2000 you can see that we are extremely extended to the upside and the crash must come will it come now or next year i don't know but since movement has just started and we're coming down with a lot of volume. Yes, let's continue to talk about it. So why did the market come up the way it did? Retail investors, mostly the last few years sitting at home and, you know, during COVID times, they kept buying free money, uh, free uh, commission uh, trading uh, uh, platforms uh, like Robinhood and everybody just kept buying. In the last few, year, few weeks, if you listen to different, you know, chat rooms and uh, Discord rooms and whatever, there's no FOMOs anymore. There's no fear of missing out. Those retail investors who drove the market up, they no longer talk about the next stock that's going to go sky high in the next few weeks or the next few months. Everything is just quiet down a little bit right now. And as I can see it, the control is getting back to the institutional traders. And when it does get back to the social traders, you know, we're in their hands, no more in the hands of the retail investors. And that means that they could drive the market up 2-3% and then you, you could see the stocks coming down another 2 or 3%. You just can't really trust them. There are rules working with institutional traders, understanding the way they work. We teach that, but it's not the time to talk about it right now. You just need to realize that the control is no longer in the hands of the retail investors. And again, no formers anymore. So will there be a crash? Again, I don't know, but let's discuss the ways that you should behave, whether this market is going to continue coming down. What should you do? Should you buy? Should you sell? Should you short? Let's discuss it right now. First, let's talk about you, the retail investors. You're stuck. You're stuck with the stocks you bought. You will never get out. I know you. I know the way, the way you behave. You bought the stocks, you're used to dips, you're used for the market coming down a little bit. And then normally you just buy the dip and you wait until you see a new high. Because nobody taught you how to short a stock. The only thing you know is to go long. And I will never be able to convince you to sell the stocks that you own. You're in the middle of a storm right now and you're just waiting and praying that the storm will pass by. That's the way you behave. And you know what? Normally you're right. 
because if you'll keep holding the stocks that you own at this point for the next several years, I mean, looking back at the market for the past, I don't know, uh, 20, 30 or 100 years, normally you're right. The market will return to the highs and you will gain. But can you wait that long? I'm not sure. I hope you do. But anyway, keep holding. Don't buy the dips because right now every dip that you buy may be just a small dip. Always remember that Nasdaq came down by 13%, some stock came down 20 or 30%. Even if a stock comes down by 20 or 30%, you can still lose 100% of your investment. Don't buy at this price. Yes, maybe you'll be missing a new high but you'll be saving yourself the, the troubles of averaging down your losing trades and then losing everything that you gained and much more than you gained in the past several years. So hang on to your profits, don't use margin and just pray that the storm will pass by and the market will move to a new high. What about you, this, the experienced traders? If you're an experienced trader, should you show the market? Yes, of course, you should show the market. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, sometimes for me several times, but for some of you, it's the first time you should short the market. There's a lot of money in shorting markets when the market is crashing, but please remember, as big as the drops are, as, as, as strong as the market is coming down, the, the pullbacks will be volatile as well. So it seems to you like you should use more money or use more margin. You should not. Please don't use margin. The pullbacks will be extreme. You may not survive the pullbacks. You know, experienced traders normally make money when the market's coming down. But if you're not that experienced, if you're just a novice trader, please be extremely careful. Don't use margin lower your size instead of raising your size as the market is coming down. So remember, there's huge opportunities when the market's coming down and the profits could be huge as well, but it's also extreme. It's also very hard. It may seem to you like it's easy. It is not. Markets coming down, it's an opportunity, but please do it with a lot of care. And again, for those of you who are retail traders, please don't short the market. If you're not experienced in shorting the market, please don't do it. If you did not learn how to short the market and you have the experience, you can do it. If you're just starting out as a trader and trying to learn what shorting is all about, you missed it. This crash, if the market is about to crash, is not for you. You just missed this crash. Take education, learn how to do it, practice it. Maybe you'll be ready for the next crash to come. Right now, stay out of this market. Don't buy the dips as I mentioned earlier. And please, please, please don't short. You need to be extremely experienced to short the market. Now let's talk about all of us. What should we do when the market does come down? When should we buy? Are we at the point where we can start thinking about buying? As I mentioned earlier, absolutely not. In my opinion, we should wait at least until the S&P drops by 20 to 25 percent. We're not there yet. I mean, it's just down by 7 percent and the Nasdaq should be at least down 35 percent. And then we will discuss buying the market. We are not there yet, but only at that point I would consider buying something for the long run. There's no way that you can buy, start buying right now without taking a huge risk. Again, don't average down your loss, which is the biggest mistake traders are doing or investors are doing, and then losing all the profits that they gained during the past uh, months or years sometimes. Don't do it. Just wait until the market comes down and much more than it did by this time. So great opportunities, maybe uh, once in a lifetime shorting the market for your experience and in the future, maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity to buy the dips, but not at the point where we are right now. Buying the dips right now is way too early. So let's just wait. If you like this video, I will appreciate if you give us a thumb up. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, there's a button right here and you can click on the notification bell in order to be notified of my future uploads. I want to thank you very much for joining me in this video and please take care, be careful, and I see you in my next video.